hello guys welcome back to good share tips and in this video we're going to talk about how to fix red fall is crashing at startup it is not launching or freezing it is uh, stuttering and it is having low fps drop stuck on loading screen unreal crash engine error which is happening for many of the users and even black screen and how we can fix all these kind of issues which is happening for many of the users right now so let's dive into the workaround. The first one is all about when you have this kind of issue, all you have to start with is simple restart and that is what you have to do. For a simple restart, all you have to do is just have to go over here in the start, click over here and click on this particular icon and go for a restart. After restart is successfully done, just try to play the game. So this is actually not a fix, but just start with a simple restart. This did work out for many users and you can try this out as well. Moving to the next one is all about we need to verify integrity of game file. For that, we just need to go over here, open the Steam. Now from here, keep scrolling down and navigate to the red file. Now right click and go to the properties. Now go to local file and there is the game and the game is around 77.36 GB. So you just have to click on verify integrity of game file. So what happens is if you click on the verify integrity of game file. So this is going to take a little bit of time. So all you need to do is just need to wait for, uh, you know, a little bit of time. And once after that, we'll be getting the play button once again. So just click on the play button and try to play the game. So right now we are here, here in the middle of video. So hence, this is going to take a lot of time. I'm going to skip this up. Just click on the verify integrity of game file. Once this get loaded up, you will be getting the play button once again. Just click on the play button and try to play the game. Most probably when you go for the verify integrity of game file, the issue has to be fixed or else we'll move to the next step. Next step is all about, we need to launch the game from the installation folder. So hence, launching the game from Steam might be causing the issue. So try launching the game from the installation folder. For that, just click on the red file, right click over here and go to properties. Now from here, go to local file. Now click on the browse. So that's going to take over here. Now from here, if you check at the top, that is this PC, local disk C, program file x86, Steam, Steam apps, common, red file. So guys, what you need to do is just launch the game from here. So that is you are launching the game from the installation folder. This did work out for many users and you can try this out as well. Once after that, you have this particular method. There is one more step where you can navigate to the installation folder using the file explorer. I'll show you that instead of not depending on the local disk over here, I mean on over here on the Steam, you can navigate to the installation folder using local disk. So just click over here, go to program file x86, keep scrolling down and navigate to Steam folder. Now go to Steam apps. Now go to common. Now from here, we just need to go to over here. You can go to red file. Now go to over here engine and you can launch the game as well. So this is what you have to do. So try any one of the step, but for easy, I'm recommending you, we can go from here itself, just clicking over here and go to the properties, go to local file, click on the browse. That will be redirected to the installation folder. Try opening the game from there. That's going to fix the issue. Moving to the next one is all about, we need to run the game as an administrator. Moving to the next one is all about, we need to run the game as an administrator. For that, just follow the same instruction. So just go over here, uh, over here at file and go to properties. Now go to local file. Click on browse so you are very easily redirected to the installation folder. So right now what we need to do is we just need to go over here. Click on the red file folder here. Now from here go to binaries, go to Win64. Now we have the application. This is the application. So what you need to do is just right click and go to show more options. Go to properties, go to compatibility. Now from here go to run this program as an administrator. Go for apply and go for OK and try to play the game. So this is what you have to do. For many users, when they run the game as an administrator, this need to work it. So apparently there is one more step that I would like to add that is run the game in the compatibility mode. For that, just right click over here, go to show more options, go to properties, compatibility. Now from here, you just need to go over here in the compatibility mode. There is an option called run this program in compatibility mode. Change this to Windows 7. Change this to Windows 7 first. Go for apply and try to play the game. If this is not working, change this to Windows 8. Go for apply and go for OK and try to play the game. After setting the game to the compatibility mode and the issue is become more severe. Keep in mind, you just need to uncheck this. That means you have to undo this. That is just go over here, go to properties, go to compatibility, undo this one. 
okay keep the rendus program as a redmister is fine just undo the compatibility mode now over here go to okay and once after that just close everything and try to play the game next one is all about we need to change the windows language to english and that is what we have to do for that for some users might be playing the game based on their native language so if that is the case we need to close it so just go over here go to settings now from here go to windows and time and language now from here go to language and region now over here as you can see this means set into english united states okay so here uh, just click on add language so if you are using any other native language for example like chinese japanese or arabic search for english and add the english and once after that try to play the game and go back and make sure the date and time is correct that means the time and time zone should be correct this should be turned on this should be turned on as well once after that just close everything and go back and try to play the game and that is what we have to do in between going to the next step is all about we need to launch the game while you see press alt and tab so just click on the play button the moment you are clicking on the play button you have to press alt and tab from the keyboard this did work out for many users and you can try this out as well so just press alt and tab while hitting on the play button this did work out so you can try this out going to the next step is all about we need to delete the saved game file for that just go over here you just need to go over here go to windows explorer now from here go to documents over here if you find any folder named red file so just delete the folder so keep in mind you will be losing all the progressions but that is fine just delete it and once after that just try to play the game this did work out for some users and you can try this out next one is all about we need to allow the game to windows security for that we just need to go over here in the search we need to go to control panel so just search for control panel now click on windows defender firewall now from here go to allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall now from here just need to keep scrolling down hence it is an alphabet just navigate to r because it start with red file that is r is the starting letter right now as you can see the red file is already added if you check the private and public it is both added so just go for it once you set this up you just need to go for next step that is if it is not added we can add it by default for that just click on allow another app go for browse go to this pc go to local disk c keep scrolling down navigate to program file x86 keep scrolling down and navigate to steam folder go to steam apps go to common now from here go to red file now go to red file go to binaries win64 select this one and add it so once you add it so you are getting the error because it's already added so you can add it by default like this once i added go back and try to play the game next one is all about we need to unplug all the usb devices some of you guys might be playing the game with the controllers connected or maybe your usb ports are filled with logitech wheels controllers joystick mouses and even multiple monitors if that is the case remove everything from the usb port you need to remove everything including uh, additional joysticks logitech wheels if it's connected multiple monitors remove everything once you remove everything just remove everything and play the game and if you wanted to play the game with the controllers this is what you have to do remove everything from the usb port launch the game once you successfully launch the game just connect back the usb port and try to play the game this did work out for many users and you can try this out i found this on the reddit so this is definitely gonna work for you moving to the next one is all about we need to perform a clean boot for that just go over here in the search go for system configuration now from here go to services go for disable old hide old microsoft services go for apply and go for okay this might ask you for a restart but here we are in the middle of video so i'm gonna go for exit without restart then just go over here and try to play the game moving to the next one is all about we need to disable the steam overlay for that just go over here on the game right click and go to properties over here make sure this should be unchecked that means we are disabling the steam overlay then try to play the game next one we need to give few commands <coughs> sorry next one we need to give few commands in the launch option so go over here in the launch option so we need to command give the command the first one is dx11 dx11 is the first command go for dx11 and try to play the game if dx11 is not working change the command to dx12 if that is not working change the command into d3 d2 go for d3 d2 and try to play the game 
if all these things are not working just remove everything and try to play the game and that is going to work for you as well next one is all about we need to close all the overlay and overclocking application for that just go over here and right click and go to uh, sorry not device manager go over here in the start go to task manager now from here you just need to go over here right now as you can see there are many things around 95 apps are running in the background which is causing or draining out one of the reason why we are having crashing issue not only for me for everyone so here we need to exclude few things like overlay as well as overclocking applications if you scroll down you can see the discord discord comes under the category of overlay application so just go for end the task and remove the discord simultaneously if you find anything like riva toner msi afterburner all these things which comes under the category of overclocking application remove everything and try to play the game that is what you have to do next one is all about we just need to go back and try to play the game next one is all about we need to run the game on dedicated graphics card for that we just need to go over here in the search now go for graphics settings now from here we just need to go over here as you can see i have already added all the games we need to add it so just go over here go to browse now from here go to this pc go to local disk c keep scrolling down and navigate to program file x86 keep scrolling down and navigate to steam folder now go to steam apps now go to common now from here find the game that is red file now from here go to red file binaries win64 select this one and add it so now as you can see it is already added so just click on the option make sure this being set into high performance this is what you have to do once you change this to high performance go for save and once after that just close everything go back and try to play the game and that is going to work for you as well next one is all about we need to in increase a virtual memory for that just go over here in the search go for view advanced system setting go for advanced go for setting once again advanced once again go for change now under the virtual memory you can see you have to select the local disk where the game is installed so if you select this one you will not be able to select the local disk so uncheck this select the local disk so go for custom size initial size and maximum size should be given so initial size is 1.5 times the total ram maximum size is 3 times the total ram so i know what is the ram of my computer so just go to the calculator so 32 GB is the RAM of my computer. So just multiply your RAM with a constant value 1024. That brings you 32,768. Multiply it with 1.5 because initial size is 1.5 times the total RAM. So just paste it. Now go for next one. That is 32 GB into 1024. Now multiply it with 3. That brings you 98,304. So just copy this, paste it as well. Once after that, just go for OK and try to play the game that's going to work for you like a charm. Moving to the next one is all about, we need to update Windows. For that, just go over here in the search, go for settings, go to bottom left, Windows update. So make sure up to date, so check for updates and over here, you just need to update. So once you're done with the update, just try to play the game. Next one is all about, we need to move like this you just need to uninstall the game and reinstall the game for that just go over here for uninstalling the game go to manage uninstall the game for reinstalling it back you can try this out as well so just install the game back once again but the game should be not on the same local disk which is already done you should not be installing the game on local disk c once again so try changing the position of local disk and try to play the game and last and the least one not last and the least one but this is an important one that there is important step like we need to update the graphics card manually so i'll be providing link in the description to both over here nvidia as well as for the amd so nvidia users they just need to go to the link and just select every details of yours and once you give the details just go for start search now from here as you can see what happens is you'll be getting the latest versions so 531.79 which is released on may 2 is the latest version so just download this one and install restart abc if you're on the AMD, just go over here on the graphics, select everything and go for submit. Once you find this, you'll be getting two options, Windows 11, Windows 10. Windows 11, download this one, Windows 10, download this one and install it. Now, once after that, restart your PC and try to play the game. If this is not working, we need to move to the next step. That is all about, we need to install Microsoft Visual C++. So I'll be providing link in the description that will take you to this. Now from here, download x64 because that is my type. So just download this one and install it in our PC. Restart is a mandatory. Once after that, try to play the game. 
so if these are the possible workarounds but this is still not enough there is few more steps which which we need to try out that is what we are going to discuss right now one is make sure if you are trying to play the game <coughs> on xbox it is an important thing that you should make sure the login credential should be correct that means you have logged with logged in the xbox as well as microsoft store both the things should be correct that means you should be using the same uh, details okay so what you in in uh, login in the same credential should be used in both the account or you might be signed in both the accounts at the same account that is what you have to do this is an important step and you should know uh, you will be having the issue so sign in with the same credentials on both xbox and microsoft store going to the next one is all about we need to service we need to start few services for that i'll be search over here services so i'll be telling each services the first one we need to go to ip helper so keep scrolling down and navigate to ip helper over here now make sure this is automatic so go for uh, or man, uh, manual it is automatic is fine go for start if it is available apply and go for okay move to the next one xbox live oath manager for that just keep scrolling down and navigate to xbox live over here set this to automatic go for start apply and go okay move to the next one is all about xbox game pass so just go over here xbox game pass should be over here so if you find xbox game pass just do the same for it as well next one xbox live networking services just right click over here change this to automatic go for start so just wait for if you getting the start it is not grayed out go for it apply and go for okay next one is windows update so over here you will be find windows update okay just right click search this to automatic go for start apply and go for okay microsoft install services so just go over here at the top go to microsoft install services now over here just right click and change this to automatic go for start apply and okay and close everything and go back and try to play the game this is going to work for you as well next one make sure that you install all the updates in the microsoft store for that just go over here now from here in the microsoft store you just need to do like this just go to the library over here so if you get the updates as you can see there are many updates so just update everything this is an important step this need work out for many users in my opinion so you can try this out as well next one we need to repair and reset xbox as well as microsoft store for that just go over here in the settings now go to apps over here now from here we just need to go to installed apps now first one we need to search for microsoft store so just search for microsoft store if you find or you can go over here search for store like this now open this one now go to advanced option now there is repair go for repair first and you have to reset it as well now if you are if you are not on the microsoft store if you wanted to find any other thing for example xbox okay so just go like this go to this icon go to advanced option now from here go to repair and reset once after that just close everything and try to play the game and that is going to work for you as well so these are the possible workarounds that you have to try out when you are having an issue with redfall and how you can fix this up and i hope this video is helpful and if you find this video helpful don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notification see you soon in the next video peace out bye bye